If you've ever had a problem getting the values right while working with color, this trick will be really helpful, especially in the early stages of a painting. I'll show you a quick way to see your color choices and the inherent values for those colors at the same time. Here's how it works. First, let's say that this is the canvas size that I wanna do my sketch on. I'm gonna go up to the action section up here at the top left and click on crop and resize. Now we wanna double the width of this. You can either drag the outside edge until that lines up, or if you want it exactly, you can go to settings and then just go to the width, which is right here, and we'll double that to 16 and click done. Now we have the sketch on one side, empty canvas on the other. Next, we're gonna go back to actions at the top left and turn on the drawing guide. Let's go ahead and edit the drawing guide as well. So you have a couple of options here, 2D, isometric, perspective, and symmetry. We're gonna make sure this is on symmetry. You also wanna make sure that it is set to vertical and not horizontal, or quadrant, or radial. It's gonna be on vertical in this case. Click done, the top right. And now if I draw on this side, you will see it mirrored on the other side. So what I'm gonna do next is kind of scribble over this whole thing until I can find this little midline, which you can barely see there, but that's gonna be useful for us. But once I can see that line, I'm gonna make a new layer on top. And on that new layer, I'm gonna to go to selection and rectangle. Again, you have automatic, freehand, rectangle. Make sure you're on rectangle. Go ahead and draw a box until the halfway point. So we've just selected the left half of the canvas and I'm gonna fill that with black. On the new layer, we're gonna set it to color mode. So click the little N up there next to the layer, make sure it's set to color. And you'll see a little letter C there next to it. Now, I wanna make sure that I have no selection. I wanna clear this selection by clicking the little S up there at the top. And now I wanna clear layer one, just so we don't need that anymore. But now watch what happens. So on layer one, if I switch to, let's say a red color, and I start filling this in, you're gonna see the value for this color show up on the other side. And you can cross over, it's just gonna mirror either way, it doesn't really matter. But any color choices that I make, I will see the inherent value for that color on the other side. So whatever my color choices are, I'll always be able to tell the relative value difference also. This is especially useful when you really start picking a lot of different colors. It can be hard to tell you know, is this green a dark value or a light value? And it's tough to tell against all that red, but we can see how the value of this green, for example, is pretty close to the red. So this is a really, really fast way to see exactly what sort of values you're working with. Now, of course, when you're done at this stage, you can always recrop your canvas back to the original. So I can go back to crop and resize and drag this over and that's gonna shrink my canvas back to where it was. Now I do know that Procreate limits the number of layers based on the canvas size. So this might be something, if you use a lot of layers, that you only do in the early stages. And then once you get your base palette set up, you might not need that anymore. But if you ever did, you can still, at any point, create a new layer, and you can do this on anything that you're working on right now. Set the mode to color, on that layer and just fill it with black or gray or any shade of white, I believe. And you'll still get that same effect. And you can just toggle that off and on. What I like to do is I will rename that as like value check or something like that. So at any point I can go to my original colors layer, make those changes and then check my values just by toggling that off and on. Hope this has been helpful. Subscribe, like, comment, all that crap. See y'all in the next one.